everybody, it's Renari. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're continuing with Dreamcatcher. We've got two music videos up next. So we've got Fly High and You and I. I'll just do the music videos with the closed captions. And I'm still working on their faces, matching their names with their faces. So uh, excuse any errors there if I say anybody's name and it's wrong. Um, and I'm just excited to see more of the storyline and how it connects because this one seems like it's going to be a little bit different because those uh, Chase Me and Goodnight were like an exact, you know, continuation of each other. Whereas these ones, I think, are a little bit more timeline. They're jumping around a little bit, I think. Um, but for now, let's get into it. A slower song. See you on. Okay. Jesus, that came in like, <laughs> like so unexpected, okay. I love their outfits. I love that skirt. <laughs> God, they're so creepy. They're just like, uh, they're so good at putting in these different elements of fun and just creepy at the same time. Got like these twin, twinning things going on. <laughs> twinning things? I don't know. <laughs> Who was that? Oh God. Oh, that's such a- look at that shot! That's- that's a really, really cool shot. Wow. I wonder where they filmed this. Seems like we all have such different things going on in this house. Okay. There was like a lot that just happened there, and I'm not, I'm not honestly sure what's happening. Oh! There's a high note about to come in, but okay. There's just a lot happening with them being like very innocent and normal, I guess, like normal girls, but also kind of creepy. But then it goes into this like imagery of them being like really powerful, like getting their their books, um, whatever spell book, I don't know. And uh the the flip in that personality that I think is Hondong had, maybe. 
I don't know. I don't know. I wish I knew. Did you get out? Did you want to run away? No. No, she does not want to escape. She wants to make sure everyone stays in and everything stays the same. Okay, <laughs> what? Okay, so they just slashed at and like killed off this old version of them which was already i think an older version of them from the first from chase me and good night because it was the photo the old photo you know what this is reminding me of a lot um miss peregrine i don't know if you guys know you probably know the movie but i didn't watch the movie i read the first two books i still have the third one my bookshelf is like right next to me it should be right next to me Hold on. Yeah, it was right next to me. So, uh, Miss Peregrine's uh, Home for Peculiar Children, which I read in like high school, I want to say. Um, I read the first two, and then I still have the last one. I never actually read it, but it was really interesting. It had all these like creepy old photos in it, and that was like the biggest draw of it. Was like there are pages with just these old photos because they kind of they lived in a time loop, so they lived essentially forever just in whatever time period that the time loop was created in and they could they could they have gone to the future or i guess the present i don't remember actually but it's a super freaking interesting concept and this is definitely reminding me of that especially with the old photos it's like i i think that's what i'm getting from it because i'm drawing so many parallels like it feels like they might be stuck in a time loop being captured like they're there that area with the house um, is very similar to the the places in Miss Peregrine that they protect so that no one else can come in and they can kind of just live in their own world where it's in in the past, right? I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but you can go look at like the summary if you haven't read the book or watch the movie. I think they only made one movie um, for the first book, so I don't think it did well. I don't know. I went on a little tangent, but trust me, I think it's related at least in my head from what I'm getting. But I guess I'll know about the actual storyline at the end. And then we have you and I. It reminds me of the time loop again. Okay. That's fucking creepy. Oh, and that song. Because I'm about to say, I was about to say this one came in a little bit different than the others. Uh Fly High also kind of had that anime style where it's very, very energetic and it's like constantly going, it feels like. Once again, like I said about Chase Me and Goodnight, I like that. I do. I love that they're doing that, but it's not something I want to listen to all the time. So I'm, this one sounds a little bit different and Fly High wasn't as slow as I thought it was going to be. Definitely still had that run, run, run type of feel. This one sounds different. I don't know. She looks fucking amazing. All these outfits, all these fucking outfits. And her hair. Is that Gaian? Oh, I feel like I ask about her every time. And that was, I don't know, I don't know. That's Yuyan, right? No, that's definitely not Yuyan. I'm thinking of Odd Eye when she had blue hair. Who are you? Are you Honda? Jesus. Sua Hondong Dami? I feel like I get one opportunity in these videos to kind of guess, and then I'm like, I don't want to be stopping the whole time for that. Sit it 
Oh, I love that. Da -da 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 -da. That's that's eerie. Oh no, there's one dong. Okay. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Oh, I don't know if that's Yuyan. Oh, God. Okay, it went right into the, the wow, well, that was such an interesting verse, different from the other ones, but then the chorus, we're going right back into that. Okay, prepared. What was she doing? I don't know what she's actually doing with the photos. She's ruining them. She's trying to make them like disappear because they don't want anyone to know. <laughs> That's interesting because wasn't Dami the one that was in the center before? on the floor when they were doing whatever thing in, in Chase Me. And they like released a demon. Oh! Did they just put the demon inside her that they released from freaking I don't remember, I don't know which member. How it just happened? That's so fucking interesting. What? Yeah, right? Okay, so far, all of their lyrics so far, between Chase Me to Now, all of them are talking about dreams, nightmares, whatever, which I understand is their concept. Their name is Dreamcatcher, but I don't know, I guess I didn't expect to blah, blah, blah. I guess I didn't expect it to be so direct in all the lyrics about what they're talking about. And yet still, there's mystery in the music video, which is really good. God, they look so fucking good in those outfits. Those are like superior outfits. I can't. Oh, the way the instruments cut out. Oh. Oh God. Okay, so is that? So it looks like she had to kind of accept the demon, right? At some point, like it wouldn't choose anybody except for her. And then this is probably actual her, like in her head, or in her dream. Like maybe she was put into a dream state. This is actual her trying to escape, but she can't. The close the portal closed like right at that time. So that means that like the demon would take over or whatever the shadow thing was. 
That's so beautiful. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool in the choreography. That's so cool. That's such a good effect. So they're trying to release the demon. They're trying to free her. It looks like, I mean, she woke up at the end, but it looks like maybe they were successful, but they still don't trust her. Like, in the choreography, at least. That's Also, look at the emotion on her face. Damn. They look so fucking good. Uh, I am so upset they don't know them. I'm second that I know their names and faces for sure. I'm going to have to revisit. Because I know Hondong is the one in the back there with the like blondy brown pink hair going on. I know Xion. I know Dami. Pretty freaking well. Jiyu and Sua, I'm not sure. So I'm. My assumption is Jiyu is the one with the gray hair here. Sua is this one. Then there's Yuyan, who I also confuse with them. And then there's Gaiyan, which I also confuse with just the four of them. I think that's Gaiyan in the back, though, so. In the yellow dress. Also, she has, like, symbols and crap all over her jacket, which is really cool. But also, storyline-wise, interesting. I love that ending. I really love that. This one's I this one might be my favorite song so far out of the four. I kinda wanna like watch it again and dissect it, but I don't know if I'm gonna find anything more. I just have to I'm gonna rewatch it and try to figure out the members' names through this video because I really fucking like this video and the song a lot. That is such a cool concept. Even if I'm missing bits and pieces that like complete the story. What I'm getting or what I'm interpreting is so fucking interesting. I love that. And I love how the song was more versatile more versatile than their last ones I was checking out. I feel like those ones almost did the same thing throughout three songs. Fly High was a little bit different, but this one's definitely like almost completely different. It has a bunch of different things that they haven't tried yet in those earlier title tracks. Title tracks, music videos, whatever. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. <laughs> we're getting somewhere for sure. Oh, this one just, you and I just, like, stole my entire day. I want to, like, analyze that. I want to figure it out. I don't know. That one was super cool. At least back in 2018. Oh, God. At like, least go so far back. It's interesting to me, though, that they used the dreams throughout everything. And now I'm thinking of Odd Eye. I don't remember if they were talking about dreams. They probably were. There's so much I'm going to miss. And I just hope when I come back for, like, the story or when I know that a member is on my own time, I get everything. <laughs> um, but Fly High was also good. I just, it falls into the same category as Chase Me and Goodnight. It's so hard to, con uh, to, to talk about the intricacies of their music because, so far, it's all followed the same type of style. And I don't know what it is about you and I that's different. Maybe it's the tempo changes even... I don't know what's different about it. I can't explain it because there's so many, I feel like you would need to really know music, like know what instruments are being used, what kind of flow is being used, like all these de details that I just can't explain. <laughs> but I know that to me, those first three fall into the same category and then this one is a new category. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense to anybody but me, but whatever. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. We've got more Dreamcatcher, of course. Um, I'm going to try to do as much as I can. I'm going to try to do more than just music videos, but for sure all the music videos. And let me know your thoughts down below on these songs and their their style. Let me know about their style of music, how you feel about it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.